All right, so the person we obviously need is a Goron, and I think we could actually meet them on the way to Goron City, so this kind of all works out. Where's the stable? Because there is a person there who will actually sell me some uh, heat proof elixirs. Very nice. That is very useful because, of course, you know, uh, well, we might have clothing for the desert. We're going for a different type of heat. You know, lava heat. And uh, we're not going to be able to get defensive measures against said heat until we are uh, a bit further into the journey. That's right. Mm. Yes. Mm. Hey, come on. Uh. Yeah, I'll take a few. You know, she gives this exact speech to, like, every single person who comes up here. Like, she always says, you know what? Just because I like you, I'll give you a deal. Like, she says that to everyone. I mean... It's a way to make some easy money. Alright, uh. now we need horse. Ooh. Oh, would you like your horse? Let me teleport on over and get him and then come back. Why did you leave him near a guardian infested hellhole? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I just wanted to go, alright, so uh, where, where are you taking that horse, buddy? Oh, up to, up to Goron City. You know horses catch fire up there, right? Oh, okay. Oh, you know? Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This is the origin story of uh, Ponytar and Rapidush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just horses that settled up on a volcano and uh, just, just grew to be okay with being constantly on fire. Down here and over there, I guess? Basically, yes. Just uh, follow the path north. You got it, mate. And then obviously we probably do want to just hop on up the uh, the tower when we get near it. Hey, I can't go that fast. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating bullets out here. Yeah. Maw of Death Mountain. That's a cool name for a location. Yeah. I see you. And just seeing these hot springs makes me want to go back to our local hot spring. They're so, so nice on the body. Alas, they've been shut down for the obvious reasons. Yes. The great no-no. Hey, remember when YouTube, like, at first said you weren't allowed to talk about it? Hmm. That didn't work. That didn't work over very well. Because oh. now it's, like, it's kind of hard to not. It, it, it's kind of a pain when... For most situations, that's all anybody's got to talk about right now, because nothing else is happening. Seriously. God, there's a lot of sheer verticality in this air mountain range. I mean, that is generally how mountains work. You're not wrong. The good thing is, we're not going here first, meaning we have the lots of rings of stamina, which will make it a lot easier, because if, uh, I don't, I don't know a single person, actually, who went Goron first. So, uh, to, to those people, props to you. I think probably half the reason for that is because you do begin in the southern half of the map. Like, obviously, most people will end up going to, um, the Zora first, because... It is the closest to Kakariko Village. Um, but there is also, yeah, that whole thing of because you're in the south, you're probably potentially going to stick south for a bit. Oh. You also have, uh, yeah, well, that freaked me out. Uh, you also have the, the one Zora who's like, hey, you should come visit, which you see like right outside the Great Plateau. So that also helps. Majestic. I'm a fucking elephant. My favorite uh, elephant noise that I've I've come to learn is the uh, Japanese sort of onomatopoeia for elephant noises, which is a boot. Nice. Like A, then B W, and then O O O O O T, and it's like, oh, it just sounds adorable. I'd like to hear an elephant boot IRL. 
Well, at least I'm dressed for the occasion, though. Still a bit wham-like, but not as wham as it's gonna get. I'm gonna fucking explode if I don't put these elixirs on. You know, the nice thing is, like, you have the heat meter there, which will tell you exactly, you know, how hot it is. Uh, but then also it does it where, um, you know, as it goes up, uh, you, there's, like, levels. There's, like, level one heat, and then there's, you know, where it's, like, right now, where it's, like, a little bit, a little bit, not, nothing to hurt you. Then level two is, all right, you start to take a bit of damage, and then level three is you're literally set on fire, and, like, you will die if you don't do something to stop it. Yeah. The act of catching on fire is so funny looking because it looks like just spontaneous combustion. Like you're just standing there and all of a sudden, whoosh, it's great. I'm not a pyromaniac. It's fine, mate. I never said you were. <laughs> but I could hear you thinking it. Yeah. Interesting. You can hear thoughts inside my brain. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Give me that last drop of knowledge. And it goes to drop and just evaporates from the heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No wonder. You know, I was starting to wonder why no one had mapped out the Elden region. Now it makes sense. Shazam. It's just a big old volcano. Pretty much. Booyah. You don't get anything for it. But it's a nice thing to uh, get all the towers and whatnot. Oh, definitely. And uh, now we just have a uh, nice, clear explanation of here's where we need to go. You say there's no reward for it, but honestly, being able to just see the entire map is reward enough, honestly. That's Goron City, right? Yes, that is Goron City. Fairly certain it is, yes. Just to get me back on the path. I do love uh, the aesthetics of the Goron cities and all the Zelda games. They're real cool and uh-oh, we are on fire. Well, we came prepared. Oh, that's just my shield. Oh god. <laughs> it wasn't just us, it was also the shield. Yeah, and in thunderstorms, you want to stay away from uh, using metal, and in the heat, you want to stay away from using wood. Those are the uh, the fun stuff there. And, okay, see these Octoroks? You don't have any, but if you have a rusted weapon, uh, if you were to throw the rusted weapon at the Octorok as it inhales, what it does is uh, it will spit it back out, and it will usually be a very strong high-grade weapon. So it, it's, it's one of the strategies, and I like how in Age of Calamity, you unlock a service where they domesticate Octoroks to do that. Oh. Right, that's like quick lucky poo inside here. And actually, if we get this, then there's one in Goron City that we can just have a look at. Indeed. We'll be done in uh, about 20 minutes or so. Don't worry, Richie, I'm taking into account other things besides uh, when you need to be off of makes. I'm meeting up with THD to watch stuff tonight. Oh, what you watching? A uh, bit of Game Center CX. Oh, that's always fun. It sure is. Alright, I need a new bow. It's amazing how it's not all that warm in here. Well, we are underground, and ground is a good... Uh, like, insulator there. Goddamn. I knew there was something I was made to pick up. Oh. Nice. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that small key. Yep. And we'll use that to get some metal cubes. Let's just play around with the scales of fate, or rather, just the scales of of of, of weight, really. Oh, Tata. One second. Let you stay right there. I've learned my lesson. For now. 
So this is actually something that's kind of interesting. Um, because of how this kind of works, uh, everything in the game actually does have like an assigned weight value. So as such, you can actually like sort of learn and play around with like, what does everything in this game weigh? And so people have used this dungeon to literally test out uh, like what weapons are heavier than other weapons and stuff. I'm very smart. Yep, yeah, that I'm pretty sure is how you get to that one. All right, lads, come on out. I need the rest of you. <laughs> you say as you bonk that one further in. It's fine, don't worry about it. You wanted to be picked? It was his day. <gasps> He's getting picked. Oh, everyone comes out of f f flame jail today. <laughs> God, I wish I could put flame in a jail. <laughs> I was going to say, is, isn't is flame jail just his like block list on Twitter? I don't think he has a block list. Yeah, it doesn't sound flamey. Uh, so good job, I essentially got one of these for free, the Flame Guards, because it's about to run out. Well, they say that you can do it in three, and that's because, like, yeah, you, well, like, I think I remember making it all the way up in one, um, and then once you're up there, then you pretty much have a free, uh, a free run to get them from in there. Uh, the slightly rubbish flame blade. Because the claymore is real good. Look at that, 38 damage. Oh, what a thick blade. Don't know where I was going with that. Uh, anyway, how the hell do we get that thing to come back down? Uh, I think what you can do is you can actually... Um, see, I was going to say, pick up the, uh, the barrels and slide them under, but I don't think you can, considering the... Um, uh, the they're they're not metal. Yes, I think. Just get 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 the lip. Aha. There you go. And then you just need to sort of yeah, just keep going. Just a little touch, just a little touch, a little happy touch. Oh, we're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there until the point where you can stand on it, and then obviously you need to. Uh, Get off, Rui. And, uh, yeah, drop that thing and get off as soon as is physically safe. No impalement today. Ha. The second I <laughs> step outside, it's going to be like, BOP! <laughs> <laughs> Well, since we are actually really close, there is a memory very close by. Hey, you're the one adding time on now, Rich, but I'll take it. Yeah, but hey, it's like just over the ridge, so. Ah, the lesser known Judy Garland song. <laughs> Somewhere over the ridge, there's a memory. It's weird how she knew about Breath of the Wild all those years ago. Oh, no, the memory is just in the village. Oh, no, there's a memory in the village, but there is also a memory outside the village. Oh. Ah. So, um, if you get your map open... What's up? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't. I was going to say, no way. So, basically, if you go to the west... Go to the west... Um, just on, I think it's that little, uh, that yeah, right there, there, right there, yeah, yep. that's where it is. Get rid of the green. And, uh, yeah, that's where our memory is. Back to the larvae, wee there goes that spear. It's a good thing we didn't even want it, right? What? Sour grapes? What's that? Pshaw. Didn't want it at all. Do you think there's a, a brand of grapes called sour grapes? I mean, they're a real type of thing that people can buy. They use it usually for not so much eating, but as ingredients or for making their own wine. Okay. Why do you know so much about food? Uh, because I like to cook. Okay. 
And don't ask why I like to cook, because the answer is extremely embarrassing, and I don't want to say it's because cooking is a major element in the Fate series, and as such, I love to I love to make the dishes in that game in real life. It's so good. Well, I was gonna say maybe it's for impressing a girl, and you know maybe it was, but it was King Arthur. <laughs> yeah, maybe this one's a lot more digital than what I had in mind. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> it could be worse. And hey, at least it is something that has got you interested in another type of hobby. The, the reason you got there might be questionable, but uh, the fact that you did it, that's what's important. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, up we go. <laughs> And thankfully, because it's kind of high up, we'll just kind of glide back down to where we have to go then. Well, we do have to collect some things to get a piece of armor. <laughs> just around here. Well, this is for a nut boy. There's the memory. Yep. I remember this one being kind of hard to find. That's because it's in the middle of a volcano. Yeah, a lot of them are kind of difficult because you really have to sort of think about like, okay, what am I looking at and where are we? So like you need to like find that structure there and kind of look up to see like, where the hell am I? Where am I? <laughs> That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh yeah, the link You're is a humongous now. chatterzoid you know, cutscene. <laughs> the, see, weapons. this is more in line with, you know, Hyrule warriors there. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is see, I just see all those Lionel weapons there, and I'm like, don't leave them. Take them. Those are good. Those are high rank. Well, he's using the fully well. powered master sword right now. I fear that. I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. Princess, you say that about everything. Someone cut in line at, and like, fucking case, Taco Bell. He said, oh, this is worse. Calamity we Ganon all over again. As soon as possible. So yeah, their relationship is uh, in a more stable state at this point in time. Well, they're not biting each other's... Well, that was a one-way street more than anything. <laughs> Link's a dutiful soldier, he doesn't say nothing. He takes a weapon and keeps on ticking. He sure does. Never say that again. A rock! I'll put it here. Return to your brothers. Oh. I think there might be another rock. Yeah. Yep, there we go. We must complete the circle. Oh no. Everything just starts spinning and like a demon sigil appears. Oh, you found me, Calamity Nut Boy. <laughs> Enjoy the malice nut. <laughs> oh no. You, you don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, get back on the path. Roughly around here. I will say, uh, it's wild that we set on fire when it gets really hot, and yet our cloth glider is fine. Yes, that's very true. That's a case of, you know, game dis dissonance or whatever. No, this is a case of a video game sin. Ding. Oh, I felt dirty. Oh, I want to die. Oh, I want to kill you. Well, looks like we both have something to gain from this situation. Looks like we can get a party going here. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a good vantage point to glide from. It will indeed. Right into that pool of lava. I've selected that one specifically. <laughs> Just over the ridge. Really? There's stuff to push down? Well, alright. Conspicuous nut looking boulders. All right, if you insist. I was planning to go with it, you know? <laughs> You're planning to Billy Hatcher it? Oh, Jesus! 
<laughs> You're, well, especially because he's literally has a dried leaf for a face. Like those things, it's a hard time not setting them on fire. Yeah, seriously. There we go. We found the path again. I think there's a Talos around here, actually. Yes, it is not just a Talos. It's a flame Talos. That's what ice arrows are for. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, you're prepared. Igneo Talos. Ow. Thankfully, the Flame Guard also works for fire-based enemies. Yeah. This helps. Give him the old smack attack. Okay, what can we use here, which is powerful? Oh, look at those chunks of damage come out. Yeah, that'll do it. Thank you, Urbosa. And he's like, oh, you got me again! My name is Igneo Talus! You realize I'm Irish, right? <laughs> yes! Well, at least we're one step closer to that you dying thing. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, that's a lot of gems. This will go quite nicely to uh, get me towards that set of armor. Mm-hmm. And uh, do take note that your flame guard is nearly out for now. The good news is, uh, you do have a bit of leeway time. You don't instantly set on fire. You start to smoke first. What smells like roast pork? Uh, roast alligator, actually. Ah, oh, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Real good. Would highly recommend anyone try it. Ah, yes. This is the area that I wanted. Coolio. The Southern Mine. Uh, if you excuse me, I'm just going to put on the life saving elixir. So, does he drink it or slather it on his body? Well, he drinks it from the looks of things. We need ten of these lizards for a quest, so I might as well start getting them now. Just gotta be on lizard patrol. Just make sure you're tapping A when you pick up a rock. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Lizards do like to live under rocks there, so hey. Also, is that one in front of you? Or is that just a bit of a... Oh no, it, is a it was actually a lizard. Well, don't worry, there's loads of them going about, mate. Oh, I'm so fucking old. You know, at least we don't have horrible rock-hard Goron nipples in this game, because boy, geez, were those a problem in Twilight Princess. That's a very silly-looking helmet you got there, sir. He's cosplaying Bomberman. Leave it to me. Uh -huh. I'll get them leasels. Them lozards. Lizards. Yes, because rather not keep uh, having to use blooming uh, elixirs to get us through the day. It's like, son, I think the heat's getting to you. <laughs> you're just like, you're just running around, Lizel, Lizel, just <laughs> screaming while you go collect them. Oh, jeez. How many am I out? Seven. How about? Seven lizards in hand. Wonders are at our command. If Sega doesn't re-release Secret Rings of Black Knight, they're cowards. Oh, absolutely. We 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 have proof you can use Joy-Cons for Wii Remote, so don't be cowards. It's very true. Also just re-release it with the motion controls map to buttons because again we people have solved that through emulators since day one pretty much. Alright, just need one more. You 
the lookout for rocks or lizards. Now, there was the one that scurried around when you were running through here. He might find his way back around. Oh, is that a rock there to the side? Worthless. Oh, you got that one. Oh, lizards, lizards, lizards. Where did he go? He disappeared because he sp we spooked him. Well, the good news is they'll just respawn. Lizard, straight ahead, just next to the uh, light. I see you, you son of a bitch. Yeah. We have achieved ten lizards. Sir, I have the lizards. The lizards. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, when it's cold, I drink ice caps. I love that. Yeah, I, I kind of like that drug position. Oh, yeah. No, I will not give you my helmet. It's holding all my big boy forts inside. <laughs> he just takes it off and inside it just says, like, scrawled in the back with marker, never forget. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Neat. Palason, eh? Name ends in sun. <laughs> Are you strong? I could kill you right now, and the Hyrule royal family would say nothing. God, do I have to wake him up? Well, no, because that's Doril. Oh, Drill and Axel. Ha! Ha ha. Okay, funny. Yeah. Ah, Grayson. So I remember getting this guy, actually, I think he goes to the village at night, uh, the Goron City, and so I got him there, actually. Eh, whatever works. There is. I have just the job for you to slave away in. Are you tired of slaving away doing construction? Well, how about slaving away doing construction? If you're up for it, Tarry not, get on down to Tarry Town. Look how happy he is. My life finally has meaning, he says, knowing that in just a few months it will return to how it was before. Oh, jeez. Don't be like that, no. Don't be like that. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this, Grayson, but uh, Hylians have rules against employing children. Uh, it's kind of a workplace hazard. I don't think you can bring him along. <laughs> just say he's a short Goron, they'll never know the difference. Oh, no. Bottom right. <laughs> we look chunky. We sure do. Alright. Onwards we go. I will say that that is one kind of problem with having the uh, modular armor sets is that when you get big heavy ones like this one, uh, if you don't have big heavy legs on, like we have the climbing legs on right now, it looks a bit unbalanced, you know? A little bit. Yeah, but hey, this is exactly what people can do with their fashion choices, so uh, let Link wear what he wants to wear. God bless him, everyone. I seem to recall Death Man having, like, boulders that rain down. We're not quite into full-on Death Mountain yet. Oh no, here they come. Although there they are, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, I thought I remember. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, oh, perfect timing. There it is. Oh, get up, Link. <laughs> Some asshole up there is like, yeah, we got him. Unfortunately, you can't do the uh, Ocarina of Time approach of just uh, crouching down with your shield on your back, and oh my god, I never noticed that. Oh yeah. 
There's even something crazier once we get inside. Huh. I never noticed that. I mean, I noticed that one over there. Don't spoil it, Richie. Don't spoil it. Here he comes, the biggest lizard in all the world, Var Rudania. Now, Tana, do you know why he is the animal that he is? Uh, well, salamanders are associated with the element of fire, mm -hmm. uh, thanks to... Um, I, oh, I, I literally asked this question once, and someone gave me a very informed answer. Because back in the day... They believe that salamanders were created th like through fire, birthed through flames. So they've been associated with fire ever since. Hey, hey, it's me. Well, just another thing for us to deal with. And then once that's done, and we've met all the guardians properly, I can do my unboxing of the uh, thing thing of other amiibos. Oh, nice. They they give their own uh, special stuff for you, which is cool. Oh my god, and his name is Crane. Are they all based on construction equipment? <laughs> Maybe. I never noticed that before. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go talk to a big old boss. Not my favorite city in the game, but, you know, a, a Goron is a very simple sort of creature. I do love the fact that if you just drop chicken on the ground, it'll cook. Alright. Take a good look over there. You see anything? Oh! I see you falling into the lava! <laughs> <laughs> I could not have timed that better. No, there is a certain Goron who should be here. Yeah! That's, um, Rudania? No, that's, um, the Goron whose spirit became the Goron Mask in, uh, Majora. Uh-huh. It is. So there you go. You know, just honestly, again, it's it's the Convergence timeline. Everything's canon. Who cares? They don't think about it that much. Fans look too much into everything. <laughs> it's It's all canon. But when it all is canon, none is canon. Definitely want to go grab the last couple flame pieces, you know, in, in about three or so seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pants for days. Good job we went and got all that money. Thank you, brother. It looks like you're kind of starting to burn up, so good timing on that. Well, I got a bunch of stuff from that yeah. uh, tallow, so... <laughs> Ripped and shredded. That's a powerful name. Got some rubies. Ah. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'm sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. And there we go, we got the full outfit. At least we're balanced looking now. <laughs> we look like a, a dope. A Dorkosaurus Rex is what we are. Alright, Mr. Man, let's go ahead and uh, get the flashback so we can wrap up here. Uh, no wonder we called him the big boss. He has an eye patch. Uh, ah. Do you see him up there, stopping us from getting rocks that we could easily get outside? Whatever. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in uh, Age of Calamity there is where um, Daruk offers some rock roast to Zelda. And she's like, I literally can't eat this. And then Link just looks at it and goes, hmm, alright. And he just like, <laughs> he goes to town, eating the rock roast. Indeed. Yes, this is he. Who's this guy again? It's a very old Goron, it seems. Who is Yonobo? I say, knowing full well who Yonobo is. What is a painkiller to a Goron? 
it's like it, not even a fantasy thing it's just drugs like they, they are drug runners and like that is that is a thing that is in this world i guess that must be a very very sharp pain in the back to her being basically made of rock and the shrine is just up here look at him go that originally, I basically didn't use Alexis at all, and I huffed it all the way here, constantly healing myself along the way. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a ballsy move. Yeah, and then I activated this so I had a place to walk to, and then I ran and got a piece of equipment from the shop. Huh. Uh, you know what? It, if it works, it works. I mean, when I was a kid, I played through Harvest Moon without ever actually farming. There's ways of doing it. Perseverance pays off. Alright, let's get this one done quickly. Swinging flames, eh? Alrighty. Need to drop that down. I have no flames. Uh, I think there should be something nearby that lets you uh, set something on fire. That works too! That works absolutely. <laughs> Aha. That's a very good weapon. It is indeed. What can I get rid of? I'm gonna be real, we've never needed the leaf. We've kept it in our inventory for so long. I guess we're keeping the leaf! And throwing away the ceremonial weapon. <laughs> to be fair, it's nearly broken anyway, so... That's true. That is very true. Da -da -da, da -da -da. That's smart. What I did was, is I would always just do the, um... Uh, just carrying around the torch there, but uh, that does work as well. No. It's actually even not bad for defense. Oh yeah. Gotta change my weapon. Mate, I've dealt with like your daddies and whatnot. You ain't nothing. The uh, the stone smasher there is one of the best weapons for when you're uh, getting any doing any of the mining there. It pretty much in one hit will instantly break any of the rocks there. So if you're ever looking to do some of that, uh, that's what I, is definitely recommended. Also fighting the taluses because they're stone as well. Oh yeah, it it destroys them. Which it should with the name stone smasher, you know. You'd think so, but here we are. Aha. I'm good when it comes to puzzles. Where are we going? Aw. I love marble track stuff. It just makes my brain feel good watching a ball roll down a little little crevice. What was to stop me from just dropping in there myself? Probably not being heavy enough to actually make it spin fully. Yeah, yeah, you're in a way. Hang on, I'm wearing like Goron tier stuff here. Yeah, but you're still probably not heavy enough. Okay. I mean, he links links a small, frail dude. Like he's only like four foot three or whatever. Jesus, what a bad look. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the fact that he's as tall as Toon Link and Young Link really shows something. Here we go. Have I gotten everything? Yes, I have. That was quick. Well, again, this could be a dungeon you do very early if this is the first place you're going for. Well, it's not done yet, though. I swore it was. Fuck. Oh. We found a little secret path. Or it's back to the beginning, never mind! All the way back to the bloody start. I mean, at least it's all unlocked at this point. The only thing we're losing is time. The one thing you can never get back. <sighs> Come on, guys. Where are we here? 
Sorry, I was talking to the lads and it's not you. I should bloody hope so. Yes, you're fine, don't worry. Set a flame, set a flame, no! Wow, frail. Oh, could you make Nisa sit and then, like, kind of hit it over? Well, basically, um, yeah, I think that the idea is that you kind of fling it in that direction. Sorry, not make Nisa. Stasis is what I meant. If you stasis it and then make it so that it, it uh, you can hit it towards the, uh, the stuff there. Or that. Or that. Multiple solutions. Don't set on fire! It bested me for but a second, and then I was like, Pyaw, had I won. I love these chill ones, the ones that are just sitting all cool-like. It's so un-monk-like, you know? <laughs> just chilling. Like, that's the type of guy who'll be, like, selling me dragon-shaped pendants on the pier. Not so much, you know, a devout monk. <sighs> Thank God you said pendants. Jesus Christ. Wait, what did you think I was going to say? You don't want to know. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, bloody hell, Jesus. Now, we do have a lot of nuts to turn in, but we're <laughs> running... Sorry. You can't just say that without warning me. Okay, well, next time I'll <laughs> let you know. We do have a lot of stuff to turn in, but I've um, gone over now, so let me go turn in these uh, orbs, get another heart, and then we'll end it. The thing of a mob is right here. Very handy. It's got a little, little hat on. You think you think some Goron just was like, I think she needs a hat, and then made a little one for her? Yes. More power. Booyah. Yeah, yeah, whatever, goodbye. Alrighty, guys, we have made it to the last city. And I guess next time we're going to do more stuff involving Breath of the Wild. Sorry, this is not my best outro. I was uh, just thinking about some sweet pepperoni slices I'm going to have after I'm done here. Very keto, very delicious. But yeah, next time we're going to go find Unova, who you should know if you played uh, Age of Calamity. And we'll see about saving him and whatnot, and then putting pay to the malice within Varudania. See you next time. Bye-bye.